Exclusive and expensive, two words that are often synonymous with arts and culture here in New York City. But think again. That's the message from a new initiative called NYC Inspires that is seeking to change that perception, making city landmarks more affordable and more accessible. This grassroots-led program is set on raising $40 million in funding with the aim of getting kids out of the classroom and into some of the cultural treasures all across our five boroughs. It is gaining traction in City Hall, picking up support from a number of legislators, including the city council member and majority leader Jimmy Van Bramer. He is the chair of the council's committee on cultural affairs and libraries, and he joins us now. We welcome you to the program, sir. Thank you. What is it about this program that inspires you? Well, everything. Uh, I think that New York City is not New York City without culture, without art, and without programs like the ones that we are calling for more support for. Uh, it is impossible to think of New York City without both the larger, uh, huge tourist attraction draws like the Metropolitan Museum of Art or the Museum of Natural History, but it's equally impossible to imagine New York without those smaller uh, neighborhood-based nonprofit cultural organizations, many of which are uh, founded by and run by immigrant communities in the city of New York. We as a city need to make sure that we are properly funding these organizations so that they continue to inspire young New Yorkers to be the best of themselves. And that's why we're calling for uh, the mayor uh, and uh, the city to invest an additional $40 million in culture in the city of New York. $20 million would go towards the cultural institutions group members, some of those larger institutions, and $20 million for the smaller uh, neighborhood-based nonprofit cultural. Would this be able to make up for, I mean, we've lost, what, $60 million in this kind of spending? since 2008, I believe. So we're, I mean, we're just trying to catch up essentially in right. some respects. This would essentially bring us to where we were uh, at our height. Um, and of course, we need to make sure as the cultural capital of the world that we are investing in the arts and we're investing in culture. And that's what this seeks to do, right? Redress uh, what has been a, a systematic series of smaller uh, budget cuts and then uh, making sure that we are advancing going forward and providing that access. I think all of us in the city of New York in this progressive moment care a great deal about access to these institutions. I was going to ask you about that because there are many perceptions that, you know, culture is, is located on the Upper East Side or the Upper West Side or in the heart of Broadway where it's really expensive sometimes to get tickets. How do you address those concerns? Well, the truth is that culture is everywhere. Uh, that's the beauty of it. It's in every single corner of the city of New York, every neighborhood. And that's why NYC Inspires is so important. Uh, I, as a kid from Astoria, Queens, a working class uh, family, uh, was able to access uh, culture uh, as a public school student at PS70, uh, precisely because we were able to take uh, trips uh, and go to the Queens Museum, for example, and go down to uh, the South Street Seaport. Uh, we need to produce more moments like that. And, and these organizations are already doing that work with incredible programs, uh, free, many of them, uh, aimed at uh, New York City school children. Many, of course, uh, come from uh, communities that have a uh, lack of resources. Many are, are young people of color, uh, incredible numbers of immigrant families. Uh, we need to make sure that they have access. These organizations are already doing that work. They want to do even more of that work and we'll be able to do it if we can provide them the funding, both taking those young people from those communities and bringing them to those institutions, but also bringing those institutions right into their neighborhoods. And of course, many of the smaller neighborhood-based cultural organizations are already there, already doing that work. You've also sounded off on the idea of how N IDNYC plays into this as well. Well, IDNYC is one of the great success stories of this administration uh, and uh, of the city of New York, uh, providing uh, identification with benefits uh, to so many people. The one-year free memberships that so many of our cultural organizations have offered, uh, and something like 300,000 have been redeemed, that's a staggering number of people who may not have been able to afford to go to some of these institutions, but now have free access as a result of IDNYC. Now, those organizations stepped forward and came through for the city of New York because it was the right thing to do, and they believe so much in equality 
of access. Uh, and now it's the city's responsibility uh, to make sure that we come through for those cultural organizations. You mentioned that a couple of times, so I'm going to go back and find out from you what you really think about the likelihood of the city, quote unquote, coming through. Because obviously I get a sense from you that there are some concerns that perhaps the mayor or some others in the city might not necessarily be on board with this. Well, well let me say this. I think the mayor uh, understands the importance of culture. Certainly the city council, uh, we've long been champions. Our speaker, Melissa Mark Viverito, is a huge supporter of culture and the arts in the city of New York. Obviously myself as the majority leader and the chair of the cultural affairs committee believes so very much in this. So, so you, we think, as a council, you think we can afford this and you think it's going to get done? I know we can afford it. Uh, we are very, very fortunate to live in very good economic times. The city is looking at surpluses and we should do this this year, if not now, then when. And the city council has already responded to the mayor's preliminary budget with support for this program. Councilman, have to leave it there. We'll be interested to see where it goes from here. Thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you. Uh, by the way, for more on this initiative to fund the arts and culture here in New York City, head on over to nycinspires.org.